Let's add the Twitter bootstrap to our Angular project. In this video, you will learn how you can add some packages and CSS frameworks to your uh, Angular application. So we will use the Twitter bootstrap version 4 and here is how you can do that. So here is our application. The way to use it is just open the any command in I mean com command line. I will use the get bash for this one. Just install the Twitter bootstrap. You can use the npm install bootstrap. Once it install bootstrap, it is easy to configure. Uh, it is a little different than any other uh, uh, library or framework. Like if you have used Vue.js, then those frameworks you can you use differently, and in Angular you can just add it in a different way. So we will wait until it install. So as you can see, the bootstrap will require you to have jQuery and Puffer JS. So let's install both of those frameworks uh, or libraries too. Uh, npm install jQuery, and if you give two flag, of course you can use mm, jQuery and Puffer the JS and save them in the, your application. So you can just install both of them in one command like this. So now both of those packages are also installed. Now the the way you add them is you come to your application. Uh, here in your application you have an Angular the JSON file in the root directory of your application, not in the source, in the root. So the way you add them is you come here and add the style and CSS uh, that you need here. Here is the style and here is the script file. For the style we have one and src as you can see. So you should add the bootstrap style here. Now the way you do is you are in this directory. Where you go? To the node module. So we will start from the current directory and we will go to node module then we will go to bootstrap and then okay not that one you go to bootstrap then you will go to the disk and you will get some of the file here then I will use the bootstrap that main that CSS that is fine for now I'll save it for the script also you will add all your arrays here so for the first one we will uh, we should add the jQuery and then we will use the popper and after that we should add uh, the bootstrap uh, this uh, the order is uh, important uh, first you should add the jQuery because jQuery is because uh, the uh, our uh, Twitter bootstrap uh, mm, need the jQuery that's why it should be loaded first so here is how you go to the node module again you go for the jQuery and then you go to the disk you go here and file the all all the files that that exist here so I'm going to the directory uh, which file we need I don't know for that one so going to find jQuery here yes we are in the jQuery going to the disk and we will use the slim one this one you can copy it the name of the file put here dot js and you can duplicate this a few times if you want so for the other one we are not going to the jQuery of course we will use the proper JS and if you come back here of course in node module folder going to the proper JS here you are and going to the disk and again you will go to the UMD and take one of this uh, any of them would be better uh, would be fine we will use the minified version of course and going to the file that js and of course after the disk you have the umd directory it is fine and uh, lastly for the boot for the bootstrap we will go to the bootstrap directory and we will go to the disk we have the js and we have the bootstrap dot main dot js if i save it now you should recompile your file that uh, 
to take all these styles. As you can see, it does not refresh by default because it is in the root directory. It will not understand any changes. So I will come here uh, to the command line. As you can see, I will terminate it. Press Ctrl C to close that and rerun your command ng surf. Now it is done as you can see it just changed all the styles here so I will close one of the tab now we have a little styling for this and that's why this is because we have the bootstrap added in our application so now you can use the navigation and all, all sorts of things here so this is how you can add the twitter bootstrap to the uh, angular project in the next video we will start customizing it uh, and we will learn more about angular 6 thank you for watching